Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make a Rajasthani dal, also known as the punch mail dal. In this dal, there's going to be five different types of dals that we're going to be using. And uh, here are they, that's masoor dal. Uh, typically, you can use a pink masoor dal, but I've used whole because I typically tend to have only whole dals in my kitchen. There is a masoor dal, then there's chana dal. A uh, whole urad dal, you can also use the split urad dal with chilka, which has the black chilka. This is tur dal and then the green moong dal. Here again, you can use the, you know, the split green moong dal with, which has the chilka. So these are the five different types of dals that goes into a Rajasthani dal. My method of cooking is extremely simple. I always believe in putting everything into a pressure cooker and then cooking it. It might be different from the traditional method of cooking, but the flavors are absolutely delicious. So without wasting any time, let me just dive right in and show you how to make this dish. So to begin making, into my pressure cooker, everything is going to be cooked directly inside. Okay, so I've preheated my cooker and I'm just going to add ghee. Ghee is a very, very important ingredient in cooking a dal because that adds great taste and flavor. To this, I'm going to add in the cumin seeds and then some ginger, which I've finely chopped, garlic, some green chilies and sliced onions. So I'm going to saute the ginger, garlic and the onions until the onions become lightly soft and golden in color. It takes about three to four minutes and once that is done, I will show you how to put everything else together. So notice that the onions have softened and turned lightly pink and golden in color. At this stage, I'm going to go ahead and add in some whole spices, which is bay leaves and I've torn them apart and then some cinnamon sticks as well. So typically uh, it's a personal choice to add whole spices but I love adding whole spices because it brings in a lot of flavors and uh, uh, the flavors from the whole spices especially cinnamon the more it sort of rests and sits in the dal uh, it keeps releasing out more and more flavors. Okay and I'm going to go ahead and add the tomato which is finely chopped and turmeric powder pinch of red chili, some salt to taste and some hing just a pinch. So I'm going to saute until the tomatoes soften just a bit because it's going to get cooked in the pressure cooker. You don't have to bunao it or stir it too much until it becomes mushy. Okay, just a little bit until it softens. Okay, there you go. It's already softening. I'm just going to go ahead and add the dals. So I've soaked all the five dals in water for about, um, I've, it's been soaking since morning, so about four hours I've soaked them. And notice that it is well soaked and they're all fluffed up and it's perfect. Okay, it's important to soak all these dals and remember, I've added the whole dal so then it takes a longer time to cook. And chana dal also takes a longer time to cook as well. So if you add the split dals, then they take less time. But the chana dal will still take a long time to cook. So ensure you soak all the dal so that they get cooked evenly. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the dal. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and notice that there is just about enough water, which the soaked water that I've added, but you can still see the dal. So essentially it means you need to add a little more water until it's about at least one and a half, two inches above the level of the dal, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and add some water and this looks perfect. So that's it. So now I'm going to cover the pressure cooker and pressure cook it for about 20 minutes, about seven to eight whistles. And then after that, turn off the heat and then allow the pressure to release um, on its own um, naturally. Okay, don't release the pressure because the dals continue to cook while the pressure is still on. Um, so all in all, it takes about 30 to 35 minutes for the entire process to be done. So we'll just wait until then. And once the dals are cooked, we'll open it, give it a stir, add some lemons and a tadka. So while the dal is getting cooked, I'm just going to go ahead and make the tadka for the dal. And this is completely optional because we've already cooked the dal in ghee and uh, cumin seeds and all the masala. So it, it will taste just as good. But the tadka always adds a finishing touch. So ghee again for the tadka. Okay. And we'll add in some cumin seeds, allow it to crackle. And then some 
red chilies that are broken as well. We just give it a stir and then once the red chilies get roasted a little bit, the tadka is ready. You can also add some garlic slices like peel some garlic and then slice it into thin strips and then add it and roast it until it becomes golden brown. Since I've already added garlic, we don't like additional garlic at home but if you wish you can do that as well. So that's it. So the tadka is also ready. Let me just allow it to crackle a little bit and then I'll turn off the heat and we'll get to our dal. So it took about 35 minutes and the pressure is released completely. I'm ready to open it. It looks perfect. Now let's check if the dal is cooked properly or not and I'll show you how to test that in just a bit. So I'm just going to show you how to test if the dal is cooked or not. Let's take a few dal pieces including chana dal because that takes the longest to cook. So the big ones here are chana dal, the thur dal will just mash away. Okay, I'm going to show you it's, um, whether it's cooked or not. So if it mashes well, give it a bite, okay, and if you wish. But I'm just going to show it mashes really well. And if it mashes well, very easily, right? And I don't have to press it too much. And if it does, then it's cooked perfectly. Masoor dal also when it's soaked, it cooks very well. And that shouldn't be a problem. So that's it. So the dal is done. If you wish, you could give it a light mash. Um, that's how I like it at home. But if you wish to be a little more grainy, then you can leave it just like that. So just with the back of the ladle, give it a light mash so it gets a nice consistency. Okay. And that's it. Just mash it up just a bit. And at this stage, I'm just going to go ahead and add in some chopped coriander leaves and then also squeeze in the lemon juice. So lots of coriander leaves I typically like to add because uh, coriander leaves brings in a lot of delicious flavors and heightens the taste of the dal. Okay, and just give it a stir and then I'm just going to go ahead and squeeze in some lemon juice. And that's the lemon squeezer, just squeeze it in and give it a stir. Now I'll give it a taste at this point and if you wish um, you can add in your salt and uh, chilies as well if you wish but that's it the dal is ready and when you're ready to serve go ahead and add in the tadka to the dal and and that's it the dal is ready and you can serve it along with some hot pulkas, puris, sabzi um, along with an alu methi sabzi maybe and then serve it uh, for a delicious lunch or even a dinner. So do give this recipe a try and when you do, don't forget to share your feedback in the comments below. And also do take a snapshot of a dish that you cooked and tag us across all our social channels. We'd love to hear from you. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating.